keep on going. And that's, and then, and, and that's the, the reality is that the players, the people involved in this that come into the system for a short period of time, not a long period of time, are the ones that need the media voice to be as strong as possible. But because of this, they don't think that they need you, they, won't, they will not answer that text. And that's what concerns me. Yeah, with, without, the, without, the, without the access to the players, aside from what the team provides, mm -hmm. I, I think the other big loser in this is the fans. Because ultimately, you are now, rather than getting a, 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 a you know, I'll just, rather than getting like a, a, an in-depth feature from Sheena and, um, and a look at a specific player from me, and Joe Person going in like super in depth on one per on one play, and uh, and Panthers.com, you know, breaking down the the stats and the record of this particular and talking to every player involved. When CMC has a big game, the guy that you're going that the entire media is going to talk to, if the season exists, obviously caveat, is going to be Christian McCaffrey. But what I would much rather talk to is talk to the five guys in front of him that blocked for him. And say, okay, so you let's talk to every offensive lineman and say, what is it? What is it like to be blocking for this guy? And how much pride do you feel when he has 250 yards rushing? But you don't get that opportunity if you don't have the access to go to the locker room and talk to these guys. So then all you end up with is the same nine-minute Zoom press conference that everybody had with Christian McCaffrey, who is a great guy to talk to. But right. that's the only thing you're going to get the exact same story from every single reporter. That was in their call. Yeah. yeah, and and you're just going to be missing out. And, and and it's just going to it's going to suck like that that sucks that's not the whole reason we started the riot report was to tell other stories and to drive everyone else to try and be better and tell more stories right rather than just tell the same stories and the, that we can't do that it just sucks and i i get it it's not the worst thing in the world and i'm certainly not complaining about our jobs but it's like no, but it's 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 bad. I think it's bad for the leagues. I think it's bad mm -hmm. for the sport. I think the most immediate people it affects will be the the individual athletes that at some point need to get something out. That at a time when maybe they don't have people aren't rushing to their aid because that's often when we need some help. Um, and 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 unfortunately, like for me, I'm a guy that has always said I want to I want to stay back. I want to be the observer from a distance because I don't want to get too close because I know, and I don't necessarily think that was the right approach, but I have a perspective. Josh, you have a perspective and Sheena has perspective. Even if you're both in the locker room, you're standing in different places. But if you're on a Zoom call, you all have the exact same perspective. And, and what, you, what everyone is bringing to the picture here is lost. And the fact that the NFL thinks that this is, and, and it's one thing to say, hey, this is a pandemic measure. Uh, okay. But it, the, the fact that the NFL thinks this is a good idea to eliminate the storytellers, that's, that's, that, that's not good for your sport. It's not good for your sport. And I, I got news for you. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we're not going back in the locker room, ever. Because it, I, I read a, Brian Curtis had a fantastic article about this on the Ringer or a column or whatever you want to call it. It's a column. Um, it was a few months ago, but I would highly recommend you go and read it. It was about how basically once they once once a league takes away a small part of media access, it usually doesn't come back. And obviously, this is a huge part of media access. But just like how huge companies, Dell and Intel and whatever. Facebook have figured out that you can work remotely. You don't have to come into the office. Right. The NFL is probably going to figure out that they don't need to have the media in the locker room. And I mean, get, I think it's going to backfire. I think that they will, you know, like Colin said, I think that the absence of locker room presence, they're going to get some, some bad feedback when it comes to fans and things like that, because it's a huge part of, you know, following your team that you're no longer going to have. Like, you know, everyone knows that Luke Keekley likes to go fishing. You know, but at the, what? <laughs> right. Can you believe it? Yeah, everyone knows these things about about the players, and it's not because this is what the team is putting out. It's because you know, there's the Jordan Rodri. I miss her so much. There's mm -hmm. the Jordans. There's the Joshes. There's you know, the um Joe Persons. You know, there's the Vashti Hurts. There's all these different people that are getting different, pulling different parts of their personalities from these different players. 
Like I have a special relationship with Chris Manhurst. I call him Martinez and Dwight Howard. Like we have our little anecdotes and our jokes about him getting sued about because of a tweet but that's something that i would write a story about that somebody wouldn't necessarily have that background information on mm-hmm. and you're not going to get from a zoom call josh is so jealous right now you have no idea josh is, no, josh is dying inside right now <laughs> sheena knows i'm part of the man hurts hive we're we're all over there Listen, talking about he's he's hilarious i've been calling him dwight howard since i met him yeah. But, um, you know, just these different things or, you know, DJ Moore, you're now a dad. How has that been, you know, mm-hmm. being the new dad during COVID? Like, these are these stories that are not going to be told unless by some stroke of, the, of imagination, every single Carolina Panthers writer is going to get every single story that the fans want to, to hear and to know. And that's just a, that's an insurmountable task. And, and also, I think it's just just to kind of piggyback on that that man hurt situation is that you have a relationship with Chris. I, I do, too. And it's like when he is the recipient of the fourth and one 55 yard touchdown pass from from Christian McCaffrey, you have all of this background that right. you can, that you can lead up to this entire his entire career. I mean, this uh, obviously is a guy that had never played football before. And now is like being called the wrong name on Monday Night Football. Like the, it's all of this, all of these little moments that you say, like when he does win, you want to like, you can go back and you know that all this stuff has been kind of building in him for so long because that is, you know, that, that, that's the kind of stuff that you get in the locker room access that I don't think that, I think a lot of fans are like, the media sucks anyway, don't let him in there. Right. This is where right. you're eventually going to miss out. That's great, it starts with an earth.